All right, so I just wanted to demo this really cool plugin uh, really quick. It's called LandKit, and it's a plugin for Grasshopper and Rhino. And I've used it here to create this really high quality landscape set of meshes, which is extremely hard to do um, if you've ever tried to do it before. And what's nice about this workflow is like this is in Rhino, and so this geometry can get turned into CAD geometry for drawings really easily, but then also sent over to visualization software. And in this case, I'm using Unreal. Um, I'll show you that in just a sec, but if I go into the Grasshopper script I made for this and just go to this random layer and turn off this, you'll notice this is all in Grasshopper, right? And there's a set of contours here that's I used to start to define this terrain, but then I drew some paths, and this is my path here, and I set what the slope of that path um, from there up should be, and then that formed this landscape. So uh, if I set it to, it's at 75 degrees, but if I set it to like 50, and just wait a sec, see how everything adjusts? Now this is like crazy, that I've just adjusted just like that. And then below here, I've got these areas and these areas are on different layers. And then just, they have some different colors on their layers here. And just by moving them and where they are in space, it will like project those and cut them into the mesh. So if we look at the display preview mesh edges, Look at how perfectly cut in that is. So if I take like this area now and moved it like up here, just wait a sec, everything's adjusted. And then say I wanted this piece above that piece, I would just bring it up above it. Wait a sec. And this is a little bug I noticed. So if anyone from Lankit's watching, uh, you just have to go in here and then redrag across that value there and then it retrims so I think this is pretty amazing uh, if you turn off that stuff and I go back to my geometry here basically I've set this up so that each of these meshes gets baked out with a different material that I've set up and eventually I'm gonna bake in some attributes in Grasshopper and the layers structure in Grasshopper so that I can do quick exports with a bunch of metadata attached so that in Unreal Engine we can use data prep to sift through the those that import and basically auto assign materials and blah 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 center pivots do the UVs and all that on the Unreal side of things but here we are in Unreal and basically this is what you're seeing is that scene um, I've just added some procedural tools that just fill in like the mulch areas and all the other mesh areas uh, with some plants. So I can turn on this one. This one just puts some trees on the forest. You know, basically it's PCG. So you can come in and change this value here and get different results. But and then I've done the same for flowers and mulch. And I've just using a world aligned material on all these objects, right? So it's super flat. Uh, but if I turn on Nanite, now we have displacement. And now if I go to this little render I made, you can see how it looks in Lumen, looks pretty good. And then if I went to path tracing, also looks pretty good. And then you can always go in and go to the forest and just play with how it generates the, the fallen uh, light on there. You could go into the mulch bed here, do the same thing, change those plants in or out. It's just doing some small adjustments there and then flower bed as well. So 
pretty cool. Because uh, this is really hard to do in Unreal. Um, like to bring geometry quickly across and get like accurate landscapes where we're controlling grade and then also having static mesh geometry that's clean that we can use nanite displacement on and then have edges that, that line up really nicely um, and have separate static meshes so you can just scatter grass on it and have like a more or less clean edge. Like this is really hard to do in Unreal traditionally. You can use, I've been using the landscape tools um, and trying to like hack those and, and make it work, but I think this is a way better solution. Uh, it just needs to get worked out a little bit more, but anyways, I uh, hope you enjoy that little update video, and uh, there's definitely a couple things that I'm gonna try and do for next time I get to this, but yeah, that's the gist of it.